I hope everybody's having a good start to a new month. 2022 is almost here. So before you guys start planning and jumping ahead to see what you're gonna do in 2022 for your marketing strategy, I wanted to take a second to refresh you with my content publishing strategy. So let's take a look at it for this week's pre-focus. When it comes to creating content, the first thing that you wanna come up with is the purpose or the overall ideation of your content, right? When it comes to creating topics, a lot of times people go with what's popular, what has the highest search volume, or just what everybody else is doing in general. But what I want you to pre-focus on is some sort of concept, valuable insight, educational information, or some sort of service or product that's broken down and delivered to the consumer on a big plate that helps them digest what everything means. Now, before you look at me like your dog does when you make that weird noise with your mouth, you know? Let's run down this. When it comes to creating content, most people think of blogs, right? But in reality, when you're creating some form of communication, it could essentially be a service page, a landing page, an advertising campaign, product description, a breakdown, a social media post, yada, 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 yada. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is determine which of those things you're developing. If it is a blog, then you need to be able to segment each part of that article and find ways to break it down, summarize it, or find unique ways to communicate that message. Just like a service page or a landing page, you need to be able to present your information in understandable fashion. So when you write blogs or you hire somebody to write them for you, it's not just a bunch of information or words vomited onto a screen, right? It has some sort of structure about it. So use that structure to break down your content so that you can share it in different forms. Some general ways you can go about doing this is create subtopics, lists, quotes, summaries, like I said before, for value propositions or any other messages of value. For example, if I wanted to segment this as if this was a blog, then I would start by organizing my purpose and my topic, then the form of content that I'm using, and then the segment detail itself. I can break this down in steps, I can break this down in some sort of list, or like I said, I could just simply summarize the information so that I can share it in different forms. Once I have my content outlined and detailed, I can either go ahead and write it, or I can start working on my goals. So when it comes to goals for something like this, it's just basically your lead, sales, download, subscription, share, or somebody saving the content itself on social media or in their web browser. I personally think one of your primary goals should be time on site. If you're publishing a blog or even a service page or landing page, the amount of time a person spends on that page or that blog itself is extremely valuable. Whether you have ads running on that page or not, you're basically reporting to Google and other search engines that the user that is on your site is having an enjoyable experience, right? So determine which goal that you want or need in most cases you can have multiple goals for each blog you could have a form for them to fill out you could have a click to call you can have a link to a relevant article or a service page itself and then you have your general save and share buttons so when you're coming up with goals or your call to actions don't think that you have to just pick one because any quality form of content is gonna have multiple touch points that people can interact with once you've figured out what you're writing about, how you're going about writing it, where you're publishing it, how you're sharing it, what it entails, and then what your clickbait or primary objective is, you're gonna wanna focus on your anchors. I call them this because it's really what gives your campaign or content strategy weight. When you're writing about a topic or discussing a service or product, the main thing you wanna focus on is how many people can I get this in front of? Well, let's think about this for a second. Some people like to watch videos. Some people like to read and bookmark stuff. Some people are visual, they need to see pictures. They like slideshows. Some people would rather have a checklist or an outlined guide in PDF format that helps them better understand something in a short amount of time. Case studies, memes, quotes, interviews, puzzles, pictures, quizzes, and other interactive active media are all solid forms of an anchor. In most cases, if you have a really good blog strategy, it could end up turning into an ad, could end up on a billboard, or in somebody's search results or on social media. So organizing these anchors, organizing your segments, making sure your content is reaching as many people as you can is super important. The last thing you're gonna wanna figure out is where you're gonna share your content. This could be obviously on social media, it could be an email, it could be on forums, it could be in directories, your affiliates could be pushing it out, it could be on print, or like I said before, it could transition into an advertising campaign. Whatever channel that you're using it on, make sure that you're using the right type of communication and presentation. That's why it's important to create as many forms of content as you can because certain people on certain channels appreciate different forms of content more than others. When you have a long form content of a blog that also 
also has a video, slide share, images, a downloadable guide, checklist, and a branded case study that supports the information that you're sharing. That's huge stuff. And not only can you share these in multiple places, but you can share them at different points in time to make sure that if you didn't get in front of some of your customers in the morning, that you got in front of them in the evening with something that speaks even louder to them. Now, when you really sit down and analyze content publishing strategies and how much they cost, a lot of businesses spend over $2,500 every single month just writing a couple blogs or getting a couple service pages. But at the end of the day, it's really giving them minimal touch points because there's only social media posts with an image, stock photo, most cases that don't really depict the content in its entirety. When you know how to write a quality blog or hire somebody that knows how to do things the right way or knows how to maximize your reach, you're going to get a far higher return for each blog that you write or each service page that you publish in comparison to a blog strategy that pumps out a lot of content. I mention this because you could literally take the budget that you have for four or five blogs a month and put it into another strategy that only publishes two blogs a month and you could essentially have eight to ten different forms of content from that blog that are getting published out on four to five different channels. Now an autopilot campaign is going to be effective. It's going to work for you because content is king. If you're publishing content, you're still going to get in front of people. But if you're spending $2,500 on those two blogs and you're really building them out and you're really scheduling them out and you're really maximizing your ability to communicate this information, this service, or this concept, right? Not only do people appreciate that 100%, but when they initially come across you, it's going to really impress them. So if you're investing in content in 2022, take the time to sit down with somebody that really knows what they're talking about so you can organize these concepts and put them into action. Be purposeful with everything you do, guys. Don't be wasteful. And always remember to pre-focus.